think about our weather. And my opinion on this is it's awful. <laughs> and I'm sure everybody out there is uh, in the same boat that I am. Uh, beautiful shot out of Tehachapi this morning. Yesterday they had a fire burning. Thanks to the firefighters out that way. Uh, you don't see any smoke right now, so good news. I want to talk about cooling centers again because it is going to be another extremely hot day. And uh, cooling centers, when they are open, will operate from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can call 1-800-510-2020 for more information on the centers, which ones are open and location. So wanted to make sure you had that number available on these very hot days. We're in the 70s for Delano, Wasco, and Buttonwillow. Baker Sild still sitting at that 81. And then we've got 60s and 70s into the mountains. 72 into Ashby and 77 out of Lake Isabella. Beautiful shot, I-5 over the grapevine right now. And around the state, we're in the clear. We're in, in the heat uh, no matter where you go, except the coastal areas escaping that heat a little bit. We got a little bit of morning fog out near Catalina Island. If you've never been to Catalina for the 4th of July, it is a busy one. They have a parade there, the little golf carts uh, through the streets. They've got some uh, fog right now out that direction, but sunny skies. And we're looking at some 70s this afternoon, 73 out near Catalina Island. Around the state, we're looking at 108 in Sacramento, Tahoe hot at 85, 111 in Fresno today, lower 80s into LA and San Diego, 113 in Vegas, and look at Phoenix. I don't know anybody who's going to be outside in Phoenix today at 115 degrees. Degrees. You might have to take out the George Foreman grill inside. As we take a look at the overall pattern here, and you can see the heat dome over California, even extending to the north, it's going to wobble east, west, north, and south here the next uh, several days, so we get very little relief. In fact, we're going to bring those temperatures up on Saturday. We've extended the excessive heat warning now until Thursday for all locations of the valley, mountain, and desert areas. Today, 110 in Bakersfield, we'll see the same in Delano and Wasco, 108 in Taft for the mountains and the Kernover Valley today. We're looking at the 90s out of Fraser Park to Hatchby at 94, right near 105 in Lake Isabella, 88, almost 90 up at Alta Sierra. For the desert locations, 113 in Ridgecrest and Mojave, you're going to be right near 108. Here's a look at the extended forecast, and we're going to bump it up on Saturday to 113, and then we'll level things out again by next week, where Tuesday, Wednesday, we're right near 109. But again, keeping these temperatures above 105 and closer to that 110 mark. As we take a look at the Tehachapi area, by Saturday, you're at 100 degrees. You don't see that very often. And then 90s, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even overnight temperatures are going to be fairly mild for you, upper 60s to lower 70s. And then for the Kernover Valley, we're looking at 106 tomorrow, 109 on Saturday, and then bringing you back a little bit by next week, right near 106. So again, the extreme heat continues. If you are going to be out and about on this 4th of July, uh, just make sure you're staying hydrated uh, and watch uh, those around you as well. And remember, if we're lighting those fireworks, those safe and sane fireworks, have that uh, garden hose, have that bucket of water in place. All it takes is one star, a spark to start a fire around the area. And we don't want to put our firefighters in that with the heat that's in place as well. We'll be right back.